Right. I told Justin I would facilitate in his stead. So it's just the three of us. So super easy. Everyone can, we can co-facilitate. It doesn't need to just be me. Mm -hmm. uh, I will drop this agenda in. I think we've all seen it, but just in case. Yeah, we're all in there, right? Anyway. Uh, I'll go ahead and share to you just so we're on the same thing. It is March 16th too, by the way. This is the, I should, I should have said, this is the DEI working group meeting. Here we are, March 16th. Um, Justin said he would facilitate next week. So we're all off the hook in that regard. Um, yeah, how we doing? Uh, Matt, I will let you, do we wanna go through this agenda or with our- A little bit. Okay. So I do, I do, I would like to go um, just take a quick look at, oh no, season of docs. I don't know anything. I don't know what's going on with that. Okay. But Outreachy, um, I got an email from like the Outreachy organizers. And I mean, I think all is good, but let's see, March 23rd is our deadline to submit projects. And I do believe we have a project in there. We, I, I, yes. Go ahead. I was just gonna say we do, um, but this was my question I added in there. It's the same project that we have going for Google Summer of Code. So I don't know how those two overlap. And if we have students work both working on the same project from different things, like how does that all? Yeah, I, that's a fair point. Um, Cause like when we've done overlapping students, it's been within one program. So like Yash and Ritik, yeah. the Google Summer of Code obviously worked on the release process, but that was yeah. in line because they were on the same schedule. They're, they had the same mentors. So um, I don't know, let me let's see if I pull up our, Um, I did have another idea if we're looking for ideas, but I feel yes, like it, so it needs I think we can. Well, let's, I'm going to share my screen for a second. Can you stop? Yeah, I can and I will. All right. So here's, this is the project that we have, the conversion rate metric. Yeah. Yeah. And part of this email that I got said that we, we should go ahead and submit more than one project okay because there is a possibility and this happened to us last time so we had one funding for one outreachy intern mm -hmm. and we had more than a single project in there just kind of to see if people wanted to participate you know in a different project um and we had multiple people apply and they were to the two different projects and we actually got approved for both. And so I had gone back to, I think Sage and asked, I was like, hey, just to be clear, we only have funding for one, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, like we can't, we don't have $15,000. Mm -hmm. And Sage replied that that's not a problem that they had. I think part of Outreachy gets support from organizations and they have additional funds okay. that they can occasionally provide um, okay yeah funding to a to a project you know you get the idea they can provide additional funding to a project like as a gift or whatever from outreachy so i do think we should necessarily get a second project in here anyway so um and my my inclination too is that well, what, what was your other project, Elizabeth? What was well, the I was just thinking, about? so I've seen uh, quite a few people struggling with Augur installation and they mm -hmm. will come into office hours. They're always asking in newcomers in the Augur channel as well. Um, and I know that previously Grimoire Lab had um, a mentorship program student do a tutorial for getting started with Grimoire Lab and like yeah. making sure those installation instructions are tight and right and that it's easy to use. And I went through them with, with Sevgen when, when he was doing it. So um, I feel like there would be an opportunity, but like, I, like this has to be something that Sean writes. Cause I don't, I don't know enough about 
what would right. it entail? And I don't want to burden him with more stuff, but I feel like that would be a good thing that would solve a lot of problems. Yeah. Actually, it's funny. We were just texting about that, about Augur installation, <laughs> like this yeah. morning and about the, the need for it. Yeah, um, I, I dropped something in the software promotion channel as well that this is a side, but like an office hours specifically for that might yeah. be super helpful because we do get people in to regular office hours and I'm like, eh, I don't know, hop in yeah. the channel or, you know, hopefully someone will answer your question. I kind of like that project better than this one anyway, um, because this one runs on an assumption of getting the software installed and then doing the work. Yeah. The one that you're talking about is about just getting through the install process and documenting it. Documenting it, yeah, and making sure that it's it works and that like, because um, there is existing documentation, but it's in a few places and I don't think it's right. And I think people yeah. have been trying to make it better, but it's not kind of getting back into where it needs to be maybe. I'm not really sure, um, yeah. but I know that there's maybe some gaps. Yeah, I've tried to install Augur using the documentation in the past, and it wasn't the most seamless process. I almost gave up, but Matt helped me then. So yeah, for sure. I like this idea of the second Right. Idea. And the install process shouldn't have to include like people. <laughs> right, honestly. <yeah. laughs> yeah. And and you know, whatever, you know, documentation or like screenshots and you know, maybe even a video, like, I don't, I don't know, whatever we would want, what, whatever yeah. would make it enough to be a, a, a pretty good chunk of a project. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I like that better. I don't know. Do we, I'm trying to think, can we remove this project at this point? Mm, that's a good question. It, I not see I the say, thing. Uh, oh, only thing is like, what I don't know what Emma was thinking too. Like, if, I think she would be okay with something like that because it would make it easier for even her people to install yeah, I, Augur. Yeah, I didn't get an impression from Emma that there was something like Uber specific. Yeah, that needed to be done. Yeah. Um, and actually, if you, do you see this line right here? Oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh, it's okay. It. it looks like we could remove it. Okay, Emma, let's let's make a suggestion to just change that maybe i could ping sean or I'll, I'll talk to him later today yeah yeah especially if um will you be uh the 25th is like next friday so will you all be meeting is that something that you could like work out like in madrid with the you know with the rest of the i don't know i don't know yeah it's that friday evening's like a i think it's the Baturgia. 10 year anniversary oh nice yeah so that's what we're actually going to on friday so i think it's less chaos -y. I, think I got you okay the next week is the more of the chaos stuff got you got you got you okay so that will yeah pass but that's okay okay um okay And then I think, let's just start there. Could you mute Ayush? Um, let's just start there. And then if there's another project that we think is good, then we can add it. So like maybe just sleep on. You know, I personally, um, I mean, I would, I would love to see help with the metrics models. <laughs> um, uh, I'm not sure how to take what we're doing there and break off a chunk that would be enough of a compartment 
to give to someone that doesn't know the context. Do you know what I mean? I do. And I think it's it's going to be so tied up in the website redesign. Yeah. I yeah. do. I, I think it's all going to kind of happen throughout the summer. And I don't think this internship lasts that long. I don't either. Yeah. All right. So maybe not. I mean, we can think about it. No, that's fair. Um, is there anything in badging that could use a hand? Um, so we're in the process of still getting everything documented. Um, but I think that will all kind of go in with as a part of the knowledge base work. Okay. Um, just compiling everything because it's it was kind of spread out as well in a few different places. So um, and um, Enoch is just awesome with the badging bot like that. Yeah, that's okay. be amazing. But I'll think about it and see if there's anything else. Okay. Um, let's see. Kafaya, do you, can you think of anything else off the top of your head with the badging? No, because we're still trying to clean house, if that's the right term to use. So, yeah. Yeah. I think so. I think that's that's fair. Okay. <laughs> maybe, but maybe not. Um, let's see. Is there anything with the DEI audit work? Um, you know, I mean, we're, we, we're kind of getting it parceled out like, you know, website work, handbook work. Mentorship um, stuff. <laughs> yeah. So again, it's a little hard to, oh, the translation stuff. That's pretty, um, that's pretty tricky, I think. Yeah, and like the community survey, like the, I don't think that's really something an intern could do. Mm -hmm. All right, well, let's all sleep on it. Okay. And maybe think about it. I mean, we don't have to have a second one. I think yeah. this, the one about updating the Augur install documents is a great one. And this is, these are just kind of a kind offer from Outreachy that go ahead and think about a second one that we might, we meaning them might be able to fund. Okay, great. Um, okay, that's it for Outreachy. That's helpful, thank you. It, pr what I would propose is we remove this one. Yeah, let me, um, I can in, do that. In oh, or, of, let's just work with Sean kind of again. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I thought I was going to say, like, oh, we participate. Okay. We've got nothing for you, but we're all in. <laughs> you just do it, everyone. It's fine. Yeah, here's 7,500 bucks for however much they get paid. <laughs> uh, have a nice sleep on the beach. <laughs> um, I would take that. That would be awesome. Um, anyway. All right. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, that helps. That That's helpful on that one. Okay. Um, all right, I'll turn it back over to you. Okay, um, the project demographics. I think there was one comment on that I looked earlier uh, from Dawn. I'm just a couple of formatting things it looks like. And a link that's missing. Okay. Do we would we make these changes now or would we wait until the end to make all the changes? Um, well, we're already two weeks in. So I it might make sense to just make the changes now. Okay, agreed. Um, and then how does that get over to translations? Does it? I mean, I guess they we would just say, hey, add this link and make sure the formatting's right? Yeah, probably so. Okay. So, um, okay, like that. Yeah. Yeah, that works. Okay. 
If you don't mind doing that, I hate to add more work for you. Oh, what's the difference at this point? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so much. <laughs> All right. Um, all right well then you can do the other one if there's okay one. i don't think there's any comments so well, well that's nice <laughs> is that <Sorry>. convenient <laughs> yeah okay so i'll get there yeah, we're good i mean i don't think don's suggestions were that complex were they no uh -uh. Okay. Uh -uh. it's literally formatting and adding a link so okay um all right cool Let's see. And then, yeah, then the only other thing I just put on there on the agenda was like our usual, if we wanted to look at the project board, if we, I didn't know if we wanted to start um, a new metric or probably not today. I wanted to actually on my list, I should probably make an issue was, I would like to take a look at this metric, which I think is pretty close to being done. It's a reviewed metric. So I went through and did some final edits on this. Okay. Yeah, I'm still not sure what to do about like the survey stuff, you know, that conversation we had in metrics model about handing the survey off. Yeah, so I pulled, I went into, for this one, I went into whichever one it was, no oh, project safety. And I pulled a few of these that Emma had put in here. Gotcha. With respect to code of conduct, if that's what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, just when she was like, nobody knows what a Likert scale is and this and that. And I yeah. found that as kind of a funny comment because like, I mean, I didn't think it was that off. Yeah, I mean, a one to seven scale, I think is pretty, that's an okay ask. Yeah. That's an okay ask. Um, so, I mean, I, I tried to organize, you know, like data collection strategies, just here's some things you can do kind of at a high level. Um, are we, uh, maybe we should reference the event accessibility metric as well, because we don't really ask, even though this is for an event specifically, we're not really asking about, um, like, do your organizers, are they trained to handle things that come in? Are there, yeah. is the code of conduct, uh, you know, um, easy to find? Is it clear? Do people have to sign up? Like the things that we do for the badging. Mm -hmm. So where, like, where is the overlap? Like, how do we, because we, I think we added that stuff to event accessibility, actually. Can you bring that up really fast? Yeah, let me look at this here. Oh, that's the, the Google Doc. Hang on a second. Okay. I mean, I guess I can go here. Oh, it's still the Google Doc, but there uh, it was it should be in the agenda too. I mean, this is the same as the GitHub. That's so the I feel problem. like well, maybe we don't ask. Hmm. I don't see anything. I feel like we asked it somewhere. What was the ask? Uh, things like, um, are your event organizers trained to handle code of conduct violations at the event? Do, um, is it clear where uh, where people go to report something? Um, is it clear what happens? Is it clear how they support you? And I don't know that the survey, the questions we have in this metric, um, they just kind of ask like, how does, how do you feel about the code of conduct? Am I making sense? I don't know if I am. Yeah, no, you are. Um, let's see. Maybe it's just in the uh, badging application that we're asking. So is it is it about um, 
like more practical like given given a problem i was able to report a violation like that i think i'm thinking of two separate things here i think in when we're talking about interviewing the participants about the code of conduct like that's one half of it but then also mm -hmm. like maybe i'm thinking of more of like observe observe like how we have some observes up there um yeah there's yeah. the support okay and these are just like, do you see the, this is like the DEI stuff or the badging okay. stuff. Okay. All right. I'm going to shut up now because I think I'm just making things more confusing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm um, talking about. Can you, can you scroll down to the Likert questions? The last one seems very open-ended. Do you have any concerns about the enforcement of the process documented? I mean, it could be a, the scale could be no concerns, lots of concerns. Okay. Got it. So, I mean, this, yeah, so I just, this was the observation, like just this reminded me of the event badging stuff. Yeah. Because these are things that we actually look for. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. The, like, these are all the, th these are a lot of the things we asked for. Yeah. Um, my, my one, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think it really matters. I mean, my one, my one concern with codes of conduct, whether it's for a project or an event is the enforcement. Like we really don't get into that. <laughs> we just kind of kick it to the event or the project say, you deal with enforcement. We don't really have a process by which enforcement can be done. And I'm not sure that, I'm not sure that we can have that to be honest with you, so. I mean, as long as it's like whatever their enforcement is, is clear. Yeah, see this, yeah. This is where we kind of get into um, some difficulty in badging because even within that, it's not necessarily a, a yes, no. Like, like some people's way of handling it is just to call the police. Like, we'll just call the police no matter what it is. But maybe that's not the best way to, right. handle, you know what I mean? So like, how do we judge that? And we can't, right? Because a, a proper enforcement, I don't know. I don't know. But you're right. There could be a variety of different ways <laughs> to yeah. try to to try to yeah. handle a situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Okay. But that being said, I feel like we can um, look to see that um yeah i don't know never mind i don't know to me this is at least from a metric perspective kind of um uh, kind of addressing <laughs> the, the needs around thinking about codes of conduct at an event so if if there's anything kind of explicit or like, uh, my brain's not working very well today. If there's anything that you really think needs to go in <laughs> to this metric, it's been modified quite a bit from the original, from the original one. Yeah. And I think some of that modification does come from the DEI event badging program and just kind of talking to event organizers. <laughs> I honestly think a lot of that is this. Yeah, agreed. And so, my i think what i would like to do is put i'm not entirely sure of the process but like put this into a markdown so like i would come into here oops i, I i'm gonna have to mark this somehow we did that So I'm going to have to mark this somehow here. Do you have any idea? <laughs> like, I'm going to have to create a new pull request, I think, against the existing one, against the existing markdown. Yeah, I agree. So you can see the changes. Mm -hmm. Also, um, we didn't add in the 
like disclaimer and the data privacy thing and like the contributors and all that we need to add. Yeah, we this, do. Like date of last review. Could I ask you to add that? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just drop that in there. Yeah, it's ship. Okay. Yeah. It's, can we start a new issue for it with that checklist? I think, I or is it have one? Well, this is what I don't really know, like process wise. We haven't really done this, believe it or not. As much as we've talked about reviewing metrics, yeah, we really haven't done this. So So here it is. So my guess is we reopen this. With the checklist, the quality checklist for a new Yeah, metric. that seems to make the most sense to me. Okay. Just because then we have a good audit trail. Yeah. So I'd reopen this issue. And then it's right here. So I can, let me just grab this right now. Just put it in there. Will that show up properly? It's good. Okay. Nice. So I just need to edit this issue a little bit. Yeah. Um, and then I should probably create a new label. Do you think that is yeah. reviewed metric? Do you think that's okay? I don't know about that color, but you know, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, yeah, and it's with no oh, idea. Yeah. yeah, I'll change it. Uh, I just thought it was kind of a gross color. <laughs> yellow on yellow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Didn't I have it in here? Oh, oh right. yeah. How do I edit this? I think you have to go up to labels, maybe. Like or like at the top of GitHub. Yeah. One of those tabs, wherever that is. Where is that? Why is it in there? It does not exist. Yeah, my brain is not good today. <laughs> oh, here we go. Edit labels. I found a little thing. Did I? <laughs> I think I deleted the whole label. <laughs> oh, it's right there. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Oh, ta -da. All right. Oh, for God's oh, here, today. Thank God people are recording this and watching it. <laughs> I don't even know what these colors are. There, how about that one? Oh, lovely. Oh, look, we have oh, revisiting that? metric. We already have a metric or a label. Oh. Yeah, let's just use that. All that work. <laughs> You're watching the video, there's nothing to see. Uh, yeah, just fast forward. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm going to come back here. And I'm going to add a label. Revisiting metric. Ta da. All right, I did it. Yay. Okay, so we're revisiting this metric. <clears throat> now, are we gonna try to put this in the April release? Um, I don't think so. Okay. I think it's just, I'm not even gonna like raise this right now. Okay. For the release process. Okay, so if we change the GitHub file, will it filter through? To the PDF? I think it or, will. So okay. that's a good point. I won't issue the PR. And until, like we'll have to have it retranslated. 
probably. Yep, exactly. So let's just kind of drag our feet. But I mean, this is good. So <laughs> I'm great at doing nothing. Yeah, why don't you just do that. nothing? <laughs> oh, well, we'll have we'll have we'll put that as an action item for you. <laughs> okay, for for like two months from now. <laughs> no, the action item is do nothing. <laughs> Yes. I'm unchecking everything. Hmm. You can tell I'm running out of energy. All right. And then I'm going to edit this. Of to collect comments about the uh, um, Review and I'm gonna get rid of that for a second. Everything else should be good. So we at least have this, right? And so I think our steps are. Um, reopened original issue right tagged issue with and then added um, the checklist to the reopened issue um included disclaimer disclaimer and what else was it like review date to new metric you're muted um the contributors the data privacy okay. uh, data last review and whatever else is on that checklist. Okay. To new. Okay. Is this is this right? So actually this is great because this we really haven't done this. So yeah. So I'll too. add it to that Google Doc. Yeah. It will eventually get transferred yep. over to PR. We're going to wait to issue the PR until after the April release, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, and when we do that, that's when we ping translations. Okay. So I think that's actually that's helpful because then the process would be reopen the original issue, tag it with revising the metric, add the checklist, do your work in a Google Doc, and then you'll issue the PR kind of like basically any time other than this like review period. Yeah. Yeah. Since it's pretty substantial changes, it'll mm -hmm. essentially it's just like almost a new metric. Yes, exactly. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> okay. And that, I think that kind of holds for like any metric. If we had a new metric, we wouldn't just drop it into the repo yeah. at this at this point in time. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's helpful. Thank you. Um, and I think the next one um, looks like board council diversity and code of conduct for projects. So I'm going to keep working on those as well. Okay. To kind of start reviewing those. Because I think these are ones irrespective of that thing that you and Sean and Kevin and I are doing. Mm -hmm. These are ones that we've already started. Right. Okay. To review. So there are, I think they are candidates to to do that work anyway. Okay. And then I, I would I think that on any metric review, if it's just adding 
these things? Like, I don't, do we really have to go through the whole, if there's no content change? The only thing might be the translations, just so they're, you know, the same, but, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the, the Chinese version is the same as the English version, but they yeah. should have those blurbs already translated. They can just drop them just in Just drop there. them in as well. So it sh yeah, it shouldn't be okay. a big deal, maybe. Okay. I don't think so either, just process wise. Like if we just drop them in, I think they'd just get picked up on the next release. Yeah. I don't, no matter what. Um, so then we just issue just not small, but just little PRs. And I don't even know that we'd reopen the issue at that point. Uh, yeah, we may, we may want to just so we have a record that we did it already. Okay. Or some, you know, somewhere we're keeping track of the ones that we've already done. I don't know. So then, like, would we, for like this one, for the code of conduct in an event, I think this would go back under review because it's a pretty big yeah. change. Yeah. So how, how would we label something that's a substantial change that needs review versus something that's not? A good point. Maybe we just add a comment to the old issue that just says we added these standard blurbs on this day. Gotcha. Just so we have it down somewhere. So maybe we don't have to include like the whole checklist. Yeah, just a comment. If this was reopened for no other reason than just to, to identify that we added the stock, the stock, it, yeah. stock language. Okay. Yeah. Just so uh, there's a trail somewhere yeah. of the dates and Is common meeting tomorrow? I forget. Yeah. Maybe we can just make, you know, bring this up then. I think so too. Um, to... Now that we've solved all the problems. For Actually, Kate. this is really helpful. This was kind of bothering <laughs> me. I, look, I think this was kind of a barrier as to why we weren't re-releasing metrics. Yeah. Because it wasn't clear. Really, mm -mm, I don't think we really knew how to do it. Um, to revise metric. Reopen issue, do not include the checklist. Um, Like that. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. And I think maybe we'll probably still sort it out a little bit in common tomorrow. That actually reminds me, I need to finish that privacy document thing, that data use, because we need to get that posted and I'd like to get that done tomorrow. Do you have enough uh, resources in that one section? Um, I could look. What's up, Amy? I made it before it ended. <laughs> welcome, welcome. I mean, this, I think it's largely done. I just want to get it posted tomorrow. That's what I got. Not a ton. Yeah. I but know. start. <laughs> Yeah, it's better than nothing, and we can always add later. I, I honestly, the biggest thing for me is just like because that statement is trying to point somewhere. We need yeah. to get we need to get that pointer. Set Seventy up. broken links. No. Yeah, <laughs> take a look if you want to learn more. And I think the the learn more is pretty pretty good. So, and that'll be nice to check that off. So that's on the the common meeting for tomorrow. So. And that's going in the community repo, is that right? I think so. Okay. Yep, I think so. Um, and actually, I'll talk about, because I talked to, this is now we're talking about Common. <laughs> I, talked to, <laughs> I talked to Dawn, and she had some good ideas, too, about the use of the .github repo versus the community repo. Oh, I just kind of want to sort that out, and I think this plays right into that. Perfect. All right. I'm done.
I'm going to go eat some yogurt and have some water. <laughs> yeah, hydrate yourself. Well, it was good seeing everyone for five seconds. <laughs> Amy, it was good to see you too. <laughs> Did you have any comments or things you wanted to bring up? Um, let's just decide where ChaosCon and the board meeting is going to be so I can do my best to get there. Well, if Chaos, Chaos Con, we are going to be in Dublin. So I have the. So we are no, going to be Dublin for Chaos Con. Yeah, I have the like, I don't have the full timing yet, but I've been talking with the folks at the LF and they're like, totally cool. You can have a half day, just like what we did in Seattle. Okay. And so I suspect it's, we, we were before the event, I forget, or were we after? We were after. Okay. Um, so I, I'm not sure if that's what they're going to do again this time, but they were totally supportive of us. So if it's after, it would be um, just probably the morning. I like the morning. I don't know if that worked really well, because then we could do something in the afternoon. Yeah. That works for me. I'll do my yeah. best. I'm going to submit something to make sure one or two things to try my best to get to Dublin. Okay. I know as long as I'm going, I can stay for the extra day. Okay. Okay. And then we're talking the board meeting in Austin. Um, so I can ping Sean. I don't organize that one, but yeah, I think that would make the most sense is that that meeting would be in Austin. All right. And I can drive up for that no matter what, cause I'm down the street. Yeah. You're just, where are you again? Round rock? Brothels brothels okay um all right yeah no that sounds good and I, I should probably reach out to them or have nicole or sean reach out to them for a room because that it's nice to get just a, a conference room for an hour or two for that meeting use my back field but it'll be hot as shit Ooh, that'd be cool i wouldn't mind having it in a horse field yeah but it might be over 100 degrees you might mind that's okay <laughs> it'll be memorable <laughs> <laughs> I have a fire pit. Horses, fire, and 100 degrees. <laughs> Sounds like well, right now it's an agility course. You know. Oh, <laughs> okay. Even <Yeah>. better. <laughs> all right, cool. All right, take care, all. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Yeah. We'll see you later.